know. I know. You guys, you don't need to yell at me. You guys were expecting this video back in December and I failed you. I am incredibly sorry <laughs> that it has taken me so long to get my Abercrombie video up. I did not expect it to take me this long. There are certain things going on in my personal life that I've had to deal with that have kind of made it a little bit hard to sit down and film, but I am back. I'm finally sitting down to film this for you guys and I could not be more excited. Abercrombie was off my radar since I was 13 years old, 12 probably. If you guys don't know, I live in Montreal and my mom was the biggest fan of Abercrombie, Hollister. Like her entire wardrobe was pretty much made up of Abercrombie and Hollister, I'm not even kidding. But it was like a love-hate relationship. I absolutely hated going to the store, but I loved smelling it so so much. I remember when they would have models, like male models, half naked standing outside the store. Like that was so bizarre. Do they still have that? Cause like, that's just so weird. And I remember my 12 year old self walking into the store, flipping my hair, just being convinced that these Abercrombie models were going to notice me and fall in love. Like, <laughs> I was insane. Looking back, all I can really remember from that store is like their hoodies, their sweaters. A few of you guys have actually recently asked me to review Abercrombie clothes. So I decided to take a peek on their site and I was so surprised at the stuff that they had. Like their stuff was so cute. So I placed a huge order, like a really huge order. I know some of the stuff that I ordered is going to be out of stock, but I will as usual list other things that I see on their website, like new things that I think are really cute but at least we'll be able to see the fit of the jeans, how things feel, the quality, and all that fun stuff. So if you want to see what I picked up from Abercrombie, then just keep watching. You just want to sit like this? You're just happy like this? Yeah, you want to film? I just got my period today, so I'm really not excited to try on all these clothes. Every single month I surprise myself with my own period. Like every month I'm sitting there, I'm like, why am I so hungry? Why am I so moody? Why am I so bloated? And every month it doesn't even occur to me that this is why I'm feeling this way. It just creeps up on me and I'm like, oh yeah, it's that time of month again. Anyways, I picked up a ton of stuff. The first thing I picked up that I was super excited about was this jacket. It's like a little bomber jacket that is shirling. There are very few things in life I love more than shirling. So when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up. They have it in a darker kind of camel color. They have it in regular material, but I just thought this was super cute, especially to wear with loungewear. I got it in a size extra small. It's called the Abercrombie and Fitch Mini Puffer. This was quite pricey. They're definitely not like a super affordable store, but I can tell by feeling the pieces that the quality is really, really good. Okay. So this is a jacket. I am obsessed with it. I personally really love how the collar is. I think that it is super flattering because it kind of fans out here and I just love that. I have it over a pair of Brandy Melville sweatpants. These are like my new favorite sweatpants finds. And then I have it with the Ama BB. It's like the prettiest shirling color. It's not too yellow. It's not too pink. The next kind of jacket I picked up, can you tell I love a good like shirling fluffy thing? This reminds me of the jacket I picked up from the Zara men's section, except this is more on the white tone and less on the cream tone, which makes it a little bit more versatile. You can wear it with like grays and other things like that. I love jackets to just throw on and really dress up. I'm sorry, I'm sweating up a storm. These really dress up a very casual outfit like if you just throw it on with a cute sweatsuit underneath and a pair of running shoes not um, warm enough to wear as a jacket here in Montreal because yesterday was like ne negative 40 degrees but still very cute I have the same outfit on underneath but I switched out the bag oh yeah don't mind my Walmart slippers they're still my favorite thing ever so I just threw the jacket on over top don't forget to roll the sleeves of your jacket it oftentimes I'll put one on and I'm like this looks awful but it's only because the sleeves aren't rolled and you kind of have to play with it a little bit my favorite way to wear jackets is kind of like off the shoulder like this or wearing it off the shoulders like this I think it's super pretty so this is definitely super comfy super cozy I'm sweating up a storm in this but I just love the combination of brown and like a teddy material. I feel like a teddy bear. The next thing I picked up is this sweater right here. Now I have tried this on. I personally love a good cropped knit cardigan in the winter time. It looks so good with a pair of jeans or with a pair of joggers or leather pants. 
just like super cute, like a, a pair of nudie beige leather leggings. However, when I put this on, I looked like I belonged in The Crown on Netflix simply because of these really puffy sleeves. I'm not a huge fan of like the really puffy shoulders, but if you are, this sweater is for you. It's still like a really nice, pretty knit sweater, but overall, I'm just like not a huge fan of the shoulders. Okay, so the sleeves are just a little bit too poofy for me. I can see how they're cute and all, but just for me, it's not really my style. They have a ton of just like really pretty basic bodysuits and shirts. I should have ironed or steamed this before this video. From touching their shirts and their sweatpants and just all of their clothes in general, the material of it is so soft and so comfortable. Like really you can tell that the quality is very good it has like a square neck which just these little touches that make it a little bit different i really like i thought it was going to be more of a square neck but it's like looser which i still like i still think it's pretty the next thing i picked up is a brown kind of body turtleneck bodysuit you guys know how i am with my brown brown is my absolute favorite color and they have a ton of brown on their website they were very much matching my like nudie brown cozy shirling aesthetic when i ordered i got both the tops in a size small however i think i would have preferred an extra small this is more of a like tighter form-fitting thicker material than the last one i showed but overall still super cute and they have really really good basics okay so these are sweatpants i'm going to show you a little later but this top fits super well i feel like i should be like skiing in it i don't know why but i love the color i love the fit overall very happy with this one the next thing I picked up is this little cami top. I thought this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I actually had Valentine's Day in mind, although I thought I'd be filming this in December and not February, but at least I can get it up to you in time to show you guys. I love these kind of tops. I think they're super flattering, and I love that it has like a little lace peeking through. I showed a top like this from Nasty Gal a few months back. I think I'm living in 2018 here, a few years back, and you guys fell in love with it. And I feel like this is just like a prettier, sexier kind of vibe, and the material is like a little bit nicer. It's getting kind of late and dark outside, I'm sorry, but this top is absolutely gorgeous. So much nicer than the one I got from Nasty Gal because of the lace peeking through. I just think it is so freaking pretty. I love the color it, I love everything about it. And then these are the jeans I'm going to show you guys later in the video. I have it on with a pair of nude heels and just a nude little bag. I am in love with this. This is a great outfit. Not that we're really going out a ton, but when you have nothing to wear, you don't know what to wear. This is like a super cute outfit to just throw on and it looks so pretty. I almost fell. So the next sweater I picked up is this. It's from the Cozy line. It is just another bodysuit. I guess I was in a bodysuit mood when I ordered. The thing that stands out to me with this bodysuit is how soft it is. My sister was over when I was opening this box and even she was like, oh my God, they're so soft. I want bed sheets that feel like this. It is so soft. Okay, the next thing I picked up, I don't think they still have in stock, but it's just too cute not to show, and they probably have something similar. It is this darker, nudie brown kind of knit set. So there's this knit sweater, and then they had matching knit joggers. If you are looking for good loungewear, definitely check them out because they have a ton of cute little sets. Okay, so this is a little set. I have to say it's very cute, however, I love the bottoms, however, I don't really love the top. I don't know, something about a turtleneck just makes me... I don't really love a turtleneck, so... But it is very warm and comfortable. I think the issue I have is with the sweater, because when I was wearing these pants with the, the last time I have those bottoms with, I love them. So I really think the issue comes with the sweater. Okay, the next thing I picked up, I am in love with. I can't wear it right now, but... I will save this in my collection for the perfect time because it is a darker brown, off the shoulder, one shoulder little mini dress. I thought this would be so cute with either just a pair of booties, a pair of like combat boots, 
a pair of heels, a pair of sneakers. Like I can imagine myself wearing this with a pair of white sneakers. That would be so cute. Just for the springtime, it is a super thick material. I like because it means it won't show every little thing on your body. Certain materials on dresses like show every little cellulite, every little thing. And this definitely feels like a dress that is going to hug you in and really flatter your body. I love this dress just as much as I thought I would. It is super, super flattering. Like I said, the material is super thick, so it's not gonna show every single thing on your body, which is always great. I love the one shoulder detail. If they had this in black, I would totally get it because it's so cute. This may be my favorite thing from the entire haul. Okay, so moving on to jeans, I was very, very impressed with their jean selection because they had short, tall and like regular length options. So shopping for denim for me is always very difficult because I always have to get them tailored or I have to buy like cropped jeans, which really limits the amount of jeans that I can buy because I'm lazy and I don't want to get them altered. So it was really nice to have a short option. So these are called, I've tried these on already. They are the ankle straight ultra high rise, which is my favorite jeans to a T. I love a straight leg. I got them in a size 25. They're also part of their curve line and they were super comfortable and they fit super well. Okay. So these are the jeans. They are super, super comfortable. I feel like I could have gone up to a size 26 just for like a more comfortable, looser feel. And then also the crop is quite or the short version is quite short i feel like i could have gotten away with the longer pant just the regular size length just because when i put heels on this might be a little bit short but for sneakers and running shoes it is perfect the fit is super nice they're super stretchy like probably one of the most comfortable pairs of jeans i own and then this is it from the back they're just like a really good everyday pair of jeans i've been compiling a few tips to just make jeans like look better and feel better so let me know if you want to see that the next style of jeans i picked up is the 90s straight ultra high wa high rise i got them also in a size 25. i personally really like this for a more relaxed fit just with like a regular tee maybe tied in the front or a sweater tucked in i love a good wide leg these feel more like denim like less stretchy maybe but still super cute and the wash of black is really nice i'm very picky with my black jeans i don't like when they have like gray on them i like when they're a solid black which these are and they do have some distressing which makes it super cute if we're allowed out in the summertime these will look so cute with a pair of strappy heels and a cute black top oh okay i'm not even kidding these are my favorite jeans in my entire wardrobe as soon as i'm done filming this i'm going to go on and order them in every color they really remind me of the a goldie 90s jeans except they're even better in my opinion so i ordered the short version in these as well and they go to the perfect perfect length i can put them over like sneakers or i can roll them up and they could be they're perfect for every day but this length really elongates your legs and i can't even imagine how nice they are in like a blue color so i do own the a goldie jeans the 90s a goldie jeans but these are even nicer they fit even better the only thing is that i could have sized up to a size 26 you can see i'm kind of like squeezing out of it but i feel like they may stretch a little bit so i'm gonna wear them around the house and see if they stretch and then i'll decide if i want to size up so these aren't as stretchy as the last pair of jeans but they are still extremely comfortable if you were to get one pair of jeans from Abercrombie, it would definitely be these. Like everything about them is absolutely perfect. I would not change a single, single thing about these jeans. The last pair of jeans or like pants that I ordered are these faux leather looking jeans. What I really liked about them is that they had these buttons in the front and they were jeans that kind of had like a shiny leather look. I like that over just a pair of leather leggings because leather leggings I find can sometimes show off things that you don't want shown off. And I like that you can add a belt to these as well. And they just have some pockets. And sometimes I feel like when I'm wearing leather leggings, it's just like everything is on display i don't know if i'm the only one that feels like that but there's more going on to these and i just think they're very pretty and a fun way to spice up an outfit okay, i am beyond impressed with these pants i'll tell you why the number one reason is because they are so comfortable i've never put on a pair of jeans or shiny pants or faux leather pants that are this comfortable like I can bend and they feel like leggings they're so comfortable the only thing is that I think I bought a size too small 
I definitely could have gone up to a 26, but now I know because I've never purchased Abercrombie jeans before. This top is just an old top I threw on. I threw on my little purse. But overall, I'm super impressed because they're so comfortable. Like, I can wear these all night, and the most important part is I can eat in them. The last two um, articles of clothing that I got are sweatpants. I've worn these already. You guys know me in my sweatpants. So the first pair I got is a super cute nudie kind of color. Again, the first thing you notice when you feel these is how soft they are. They are so comfortable. Like This set, super cute, super comfy. I love how the colors go super well together, but they're not identical the top is a little bit lighter they're both super comfy like i never want to take this off they're super soft and the joggers fit super well as well <laughs> the next pair i picked up i actually haven't worn but they're also super cute these are the part of the soft collection they are the they don't have a name for them. They feel like they're going to be the comfiest things of all time. So I'm super, super excited about these. These are probably the comfiest joggers I own that are still like super cute. I love the color of them and the inside. <gasps> the inside is so soft. I'm sorry, there's like no natural light anymore, so the lighting in here is awful. I also picked up some underwear, just some thongs to test out. These are my favorite thongs ever. They haven't been worn yet. Okay, I am a squishier person. I just always have been. I hate like G-strings, you know, where it's just like one line because it always pu like pushes in on my hips and leaves an indent, whereas these kind of just sit on your hip and look really pretty. Um, So I picked them up in this really pretty nude color. I ordered a size small, and I like that the lace on the side isn't too thick. I still find them really pretty. I also ordered them in black. And then this bra reminded me of Skims. They have like really cute bras and underwears also. And I couldn't pass up this like pretty color. Alrighty you guys, so that is it for my Abercrombie haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, I will leave links to other things, some of their new releases that I personally love and would buy. Unfortunately to me, I cannot buy every single thing I love, but hopefully it'll give you guys some inspo. And I really wanted to do this to test out the quality of their stuff. And I have to say, I am completely 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 impressed and I will be shopping on their site. I did not have to pay any duties to Canada, which is a huge plus for me and I know to a lot of you guys. Everything I showed which is still available on their site will be linked down below along with the sizes in case I missed saying any of them, I probably did. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram. I'm doing a $1000 Zara giveaway. Whew. I'm all talked out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys back here next time.